What is up guys, welcome to the video. If you guys didn't see the last video, I suggest going to check that one out. We picked up the Evo from Paint as well as installed some new JDM headlights. But for today, we are finalizing everything on this Evo to get it show ready for Stance Nation. And the last and final thing that we have to do today is install the carbon fiber Voltex Racing rear diffuser on the Evo to really just set this whole thing off. So just in case you didn't see last video, we did this a special version of the Audi R8 white color. We added in a little bit of purple flake in there. Looks really, really good. We have carbon fiber accents all throughout the car, especially in the rear. The carbon fiber trunk, we left a little bit of carbon as well as the wing. So to really set everything off, the carbon Voltex diffuser is gonna make it look perfect. So That's our mission for today. All right. Big ass box. Anybody else not hate? I mean, fuck, dude. You I can't speak I today. literally can't speak today. There's two days in a row. So <laughs> play, play. Does anybody else hate that it gets dark at like 4.30 now? I like, I like Shut it. Shut up. Go. Like it. Go. <laughs> it's the worst. All right. We've unboxed this once, but we boxed it back up. So we're going to go ahead and unbox the Voltex rear diffuser for the Evo and show you guys what it's going to look like. Go. You ready for this, Danny? I'm ready, bro. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, tell me if this doesn't match the car like 100%. Damn. So this is the carbon fiber option for the, the Varus rear diffuser. I mean, Voltex. Voltex. It's been a long day. Dude, that's like the cherry on top right there. Oh, Fuck. brother. These little accents like this just make an entire car for me. Like this is gonna be, oh. All right, boys, let's get to installing. When you know it's real, there's some Japanese directions here. We should be fine, right? When you buy the Voltex rear diffuser, it comes with literally everything you need. Brackets, hardware, mounts, everything. Should be good. You do want to make sure this thing is very, very secure because it is kind of like a duck. And this thing, if you're not careful, will like fly underneath your car. So we're going to mount this up fully with everything that they gave us. And we'll show you guys how we do it. Okay, to start off, we went ahead and took off the wheels so we can access this a little bit better when we're mounting up the diffuser. We're having a hard time understanding these directions, obviously because they are in Japanese, but also... Eight. <laughs> yeah, this is like, these are really, really old pictures and can't really tell what's what in these pictures. So we're gonna go off of our knowledge and what we think is best. So we went ahead and mounted up the brackets to the diffuser first off, and then we're gonna mock it up on the bumper and start drilling these little holes kind of like that to be able to mount the bracket to the bumper. Right. See now? That's aggressive. Go ahead and light on that. Now that we went ahead and mocked up the diffuser, we're gonna go ahead and mark with a Sharpie underneath these holes on bottom of the bumper so we know exactly where to drill and to mount this. First hole is right here. We're gonna go ahead and finish up this hole and this hole do the sides first. Once the sides are done, then we can start doing the middle and then actually tightening everything. Why'd you stay there, man? We have the two front back bolts in. We're just gonna see how it sits right now from the back here. That's aggressive. It actually fits really, really good, which I like. And I said this when we unboxed and installed the side skirts last time. Everything from Voltex fits really, really well. I'm especially excited for this diffuser, as you guys can tell. John, freaking Voltex diffuser is on and it looks incredible. This thing is super, super sturdy and we actually found out what those brackets were for back there. You can see it in the wheel well. So the bracket actually bolts onto the frame of the car and then onto the diffuser, which is awesome. And this thing fits amazing, really sturdy and the carbon fiber looks awesome. It just really sets off this car. I now, wish it was during the daytime so we could lower it and see what it looks like in the daytime. So look at it on the ground, baby. Woo! So this car is literally my childhood car dream car. Like 
Everything that I admire in a car, this this Evo has every quality. So, like I, like I keep saying, I'm speechless with how amazing this car has turned out. And the Voltex diffuser, the side skirts, the paint color, the wheels, just all that's left is the interior. So, I mean, I'm extremely pleased with how far this Evo has come and the amount of time that I owned it. It's almost been a full year since I've owned this car and already been transformed this much. So, I literally just can't stop. So, one last thing before I leave is, you guys know that I have the pretty awesome ready digital gauges you can't probably can't see it because it's glass but um, they used to be mounted up here but during the daytime they're kind of hard to see we are rerouting the gauges to be right next to my air to fuel ratio gauge so i'll show you what it looks like and the cool thing is it's see-through so oh that's such a sick setup right there yes interior this is the first aftermarket interior piece that I've done, if you want to call it interior, but this thing is about to be an insane cockpit. This is freaking sweet. Dude, it's like so futuristic in here now. You see that? I like it. All right, let's see. I like that it doesn't block the, yeah. the cluster. Oh. I still see through, but. Damn, dude. I'm in a rocket ship, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sick. We just need a third one. I don't think they, they don't make the air to They fuel don't make though. the air fuel, no. Rip. Yeah. But no, this is freaking perfect, dude. Wow. Looks good. Cherry on top, baby. We gotta get the sensor fixed too. Yeah. The uh, wide band sensor. Yeah. Okay, so actually before we end this video, I wanted to show you guys a little behind the scenes of the short little edit that I put in this video to kind of reveal the Evo paint. Unfortunately, I didn't have as much time as I did when I did the wrap to actually do like this crazy canyon shoot or whatever. But I had a couple of my friends come out. I'll put their Instagrams on the screen to help me shoot and show me this amazing location. I have no idea where we are, but it's very, very modern and it's exactly what I was going for with the Evo, a very modern, sleek look and location matched perfectly. Renz, you want to give them a little, little sneak peek of what they can expect yeah. on your on your Instagram here. Damn. Ooh. You guys can expect awesome content from both of these guys. We did lots of shooting, but the sun's going down quickly. I kind of want to do like a little behind the scenes shoot of this because this is honestly way too cool for me not to show you guys. So I think we're done at this spot and we're going to move on to another spot now. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. But Renz is actually, he actually likes to shoot with really, really low light and then exposes it, which is super cool. So he shot the GTR before and it's funny that this came out amazing, so I'm excited to see the reveal of the Evo. I love this car. Oh, now we're on this abandoned road. Renz is getting some rollers. I'm so excited for this. Getting some last final shots here. I think the shoot went literally perfect. So I'm stoked on the outcome and I can't wait to see what these guys make. Oh my God. I think my favorite part of this car is the rear. Oh, look at it. Damn. Just good nut right here, boys. That's a good nut. If you guys want to see more of their work, I want to book them for a shoot. Both of their Instagrams are right here. How to make a quick E85 pit stop. Hey, thank you guys. You guys absolutely killed it. I'm very excited to see what you guys make. Be sure to go follow them if you haven't already. They are incredible photographers and videographers, so I definitely would recommend it. All right, boys. It is way too late, but I had to end the video for you guys and give a huge thank you to Enticed for all the help that they gave me on the Evo build. The reveal video went out yesterday and you guys blew me away with all of the support. I cannot believe how many of you guys actually really liked it and I'm so happy that you guys liked it because Evo honestly means the world to me and getting it back from paint is like one of the best things I've ever done in my like car career, I guess. And 
I'm just so unbelievably in love with it. So I'm glad a lot of you guys like it too. The Evo build is far from done. There's still little exterior things I want to do here and there as well as some stuff in the engine bay. And of course we have a full interior build that I want to do, but I think I'm pretty content with Evo right now. We're going to move on to the GTR afterwards. Huge thank you to everybody who had a hand in actually helping me finish the Evo. It's an amazing car. I couldn't have done it without all of you guys, all of your support on the videos and everything. So next video is Stance Nation. I'm excited to put that video out. Thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.